one here is the um, Slight Flex, like I said, from Revlon So Fierce. And this is what it looks like. Kind of like reflex, different colors a little bit. Let me see what the price is on Okay, it looks like this was $10.99, so not too bad considering you have some higher end of brands that you'll get four shades and it'll be like 50 bucks if not more. I'm my Marc Jacobs brush. I don't know what kind it is, but... And we'll go in with this darker blue in here and see if we can't create like a like summery vibe type of makeup that would still be work appropriate because you can wear nice colorful makeup at work and still look work appropriate. Flower Beauty stuff beforehand. I don't really like that Flower Beauty watery eye tint. Not a big fan. And it's kind of turned like purple. I mean, the formula on this seems okay, but honestly, I think it got effed with the um, Flower Beauty stuff. I'm not a fan of that stuff. So I'm going to like go over my eyelid with this to see if maybe that can help brighten up uh, the pink a bit and give it like that metallic sheen. Seems to be helping out a bit. Yeah, I like that. Use this one on my inner corner right here. Then we'll use like one of the shades on here because you could do like a whole look with this palette like you can do a whole look with this palette so I'm gonna use this blue under here as like an eyeshadow as well And then with this color that I used on my inner corner, I'm just gonna do some, like a little bit right there because I always like a sheen at the top. I always think that looks good. Oh, that looks pretty. All right, so I used every color on this palette and this one I definitely recommend. Um, they really blend well, like little to no fallout, it's only just like a tiny bit, and um, yeah, the, the color payoff is really, really good. The, um, like I said a million times, the other one, I didn't like. Be doing it with blush, and I don't want that like mixing in with the baking powder. And see how it's kind of like blended in with my skin a bit more? So that's the nice part about it is the um, face products and like the powder is all blended in with my skin tone by the warmth of my skin and everything so it looks a lot better. So There we go. I'm going to contour it a bit. Have that um, eyeshadow pop in. The skin looks good so far. Alright so the next thing I got 
was the Sweet Cheeks from NYX. I always love this brand. I have quite a few things. This is their new Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. And I got it in Baby Doll. Let me see the price. Okay, so this is $9. Really, really good. Okay, it is a 100% vegan formula. Um, it's like a soft mousse texture, lightweight, and um, it's supposed to be like really buildable if you want. So, this is what the color looks like so far. I'm just gonna put some here. I don't want to like go too crazy and end up with a terrible face. So I'm just going to use my uh, Beauty Blender. It has some stuff on it already, so I kind of like that sometimes. That way it's sometimes easier to smooth on. Um, nice soft food texture. It's really nice. I don't like how it accentuated that bump right there. Whatever that thing is. But, yeah, it looks nice on the cheeks. So that's all I'm gonna put on. I think that's more than enough. A little goes a long way. And that's in the color Baby Doll, which I really love that pink color. So the next thing I did grab was I grabbed this Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I've really been liking um, lash primers. It really just helps because I like non-existent lashes. And um, this is Super Volume with Super Fruits. So it's got SAI oil, mango butter, and vitamin E. Ophthalmology approved. So this stuff looks really good. Um, let me see how much the price is. It's five dollars. You cannot beat that. Um, I'm really, I've really been impressed with this Essence brand lately. It's really, really good. So let's see how I feel about the lash primer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest and I don't really like this mascara wand. It's like kind of hard and bristly, um, like a brush, like a coarse hair brush. But I'm gonna keep putting it on because it might redeem itself with um, how well it does with my mascara. So what I got was this new Rimmel London Retro Glam Mascara from Scandalize. It's like this Scandalize um, collection. Bold look, no clumps, plumps and fans out lashes. Wide eyed volume. Waterproof formula that is gentle on lashes, removes easily with eye, eye, eye makeup remover. Um, and it has an hour, hourglass brush shaped to the lash line to plump lashes. So it looks like this is six bucks. And it's got like a 4.4 .4 out of five. Um, but I didn't really look at what people were saying. I just wanna see for myself, like I don't wanna wait. So that's what the um, applicator looks like. Like they said, it's got like the hourglass brush shape. So that's what the hourglass looks like. It's pretty good actually, you can see from the side. I know it doesn't really curl up too well. I should I should have used my lash curler first, but I didn't. And I know I can use it now, but I don't want to like make a mess of my eyeshadow, which can happen sometimes. The top one's long too. Okay, so this is I think my second coat on this one. So far, I really like it. Like, it actually does do a good job. And it's waterproof. 
I tried to pick stuff that was um, new releases that were more like staying waterproof because a lot of people were traveling, going on vacation, um, all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, it does work. It works good for my lashes. Like, with the lash primer and the, um, the Rimmel and the Essence together work just fine. The lash primer and the Rimmel London Scandalize, like, they both work together just fine. So, yeah, I would definitely say that is a go. It's really nice. So I'm going to let it dry a bit and I'm going to start working on my brows. I did get this NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour and um, it's double ended. It's a brow duo, which I really like. It's kind of like very convenient, especially if you're in a rush for work and you need to do your brows. Um, so yeah, take contouring to the next le level with our Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour. Define, fill, and boost your arches to flawlessly lift your way to runway ready brows. So I'm excited. I got it in the color Taupe and Vanilla. That's the, usually the best one for me. So let's try this out. Let me see how much the price is. Alright, so this was $5.55. Not bad at all. So if anyone had, like, of course, um, if you, you're probably going to need a brow brush. This one's not going to have it because both ends have or take it up so I'm gonna do my little brow brush to make it easier for me to do it which isn't bad I usually prefer like one that has like a slanted side but we shall just try this one I always start in like the middle bottom part of my brows and kind of just swoop up from there stuff I use as well from Benefit that helps with that but we'll see how good this is doing so far this is okay try the contour this is what it looks like just like a little ball at the top I kind of wish it was slanted as well um, but we're just gonna highlight from here try it. It's almost like a brow carver in a way, which I kind of like. I still like to carve out my brows. I just think it looks better. Yeah, I'm impressed. I am impressed. So yeah, highly recommend this. This is really, really good. And the price is one point. Now, as far as making them stay, I wanted to try this new NYX, the Brow Glue. Um, it also gives like the laminating effect. It's a sculptor. It is style brow hairs and set into place, non-sticky, transparent formula with a precise spoolie for easy application. And let me see what the price is real quick. So this is eight bucks, which is really good compared to a lot of other ones I see that are like 30 or 26 or something like that. I think was the last one that I got for this. Um, so yeah, not bad. This is what it looks like. It's like a clear formula. The packaging is nice and then it comes out like, it's not, but it comes out, um, so let's give it a whirl. So 
anyone have that where their brow hairs are longer on one side than the other? Yeah, that's this side for me. It's not bad. I like it. And it definitely does dry clear. Just want to make sure I get the tail. I want it to stay. It feels like it's fast drying, like I can already feel that it's dried a lot. Highly recommend. Alright, so since we let the um, eyeshadow dry, and or the, uh, the mascara dry, it looks really good. I got these Ardell Magnetic Lashes. Um, I've only been using magnetic lashes lately because they've been saving my lashes. My lashes have not been getting ripped off by glue. And this one comes with a magnetic liquid liner. Easy to apply. I'm really excited. I got the these little wispies here. They're called. Um, I mean, they're reusable, waterproof, reusable and waterproof. Wow. Um, I don't really see where it says what the name of the lashes are. I guess it's just a kit, and they are demi wispies. So I didn't get ones that were too long because I wanted more of a natural looking finish. Okay, so the price is $15. Um, I would expect a little less for Ardell, but they are reusable. I thought that was a good size. And what also helps is if you measure out the lash a bit to make sure it's the right size and then trim as necessary. For me, they fit perfect. And you just line how you would normally like the line. So we put the little liner on. I usually let it dry just a little. All right, I think it's dried pretty good. So we're gonna put the first one on. So these start shorter and then go longer. So the shorter, of course, is gonna go in the inner corner. Bend it a little bit. Okay guys, so here the, are the magnetic lashes um, and they will stay on, like they are on there, they're not going to come off. This one here is a little pain in my butt, but um, yeah, like it's not going to come off. It's really, really good. It's on and it definitely makes that a whole lot longer as you can see. Um, so yeah, and I like how they're more frayed out at the edges, so. Yeah. In New York Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. It's a new lip liner and I got it in 135 Palest Pink. And it's just supposed to shape your lips. Um, there's a reason for that. Hold on one second. Okay, it's eight bucks and it's supposed to be smudge proof. So that is always a problem I have is my lips, my lipstick tends to bleed over my lips and I hate it. So I got this in 135 palest pink. So let's give this a try.
the tip light came off. Wonderful. All right, well, we'll give it a whirl without the pointy tip. It's interesting, pale pink. It looks like a neon pink. Not what I expected. I mean, that looks neon pink. <sighs> Palest pink? That's like a neon pink. It's interesting. Alright, so, um, I got these new NYX Filler Instinct Miami Nights Plumping Lip Color. I got three different colors I'm going to show you guys. Um, I got one in, this is called Miami Nights, so that'll go well with the lip liner. I got one in Beach Casual, and by the way, I love the packaging, like the packaging is so cute. And then I got one in Juicy Pout. So we're going to try each one one. First one I will try is the Miami Nights. Oh, it just comes off. Alright, that's what it looks like. Let's try it. It's supposed to plump your lips and make them look like fuller. Let me read the whole thing to see why they are claiming that. Okay, so these are eight bucks each. Um, it's like a, a gloss and lipstick hybrid. It's supposed to have a shine yet stay on like a lipstick. And it's infused with hyaluronic acid and ginger. So that gives you like the plumping effect and it's supposed to stay up to eight hours, so. I definitely feel like a tingling. They do they look plumper? Um, but yeah, that's a cute color. I definitely like the color. It's definitely good for summertime. And eight bucks is not bad. They just came out with these, so. Um, yeah, I like them. All right, I'm just gonna put them on without the liner. Um, this is in Beach Casual. It's more like a, a nude color. It's got the same ingredients and stuff in. It just comes off like a chapstick cap. And like I said, this is supposed to be a lipstick and like balm hybrid. That is definitely a nude color. It's nice though, I like it. Definitely giving off beach vibes. It's very comfortable. Um, and I do like the plumping, like the plumping feeling I'm getting. It feels really good. So, and that is once again, beach casual. It's like a very light cream nude color which is like actually one of my favorites, so. Yeah, it's good. By the way guys, the Holy Grail makeup remover that I absolutely love is this Paula's Choice Gentle Touch Makeup Remover with Aloe and Green Tea. It removes like every type of makeup. It leaves non-greasy and I've been using it to be able to swatch these lips for you guys. Literally so good and I think it's like 10 bucks for this and it, a little goes a long way it's 4.3 fluid ounces so I grabbed a few of these because I absolutely love them um, anyway we're gonna go in here with the last one called Juicy Pout I love that name okay Juicy Pout coming on Very, very nice color. Juicy pout. 
Yeah, it has like a little bit of a tiny tingling sensation, but not not like a crazy one where it's like freezing cold on your lips or burning or anything. Like it's just a, a comfortable one. Let's put it that way. Last but not least, I got this Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Setting Spray. It's brand new. Skin Rejuvenating Vegan Collagen. Um, it's an enhancing, complexion enhancing and plumping collagen setting spray that delivers a luminous finish and imparts a subtle gold machine. Um, so it's got collagen, 24 karat gold, um, skin rejuvenating vegan collagen, glow enhancing 24 karat gold, moisturizing glycerin, protecting and lifting polymers, brightening vitamin B3. So you just shake well to make sure that the gold's all in there, but that's what it looks like. I thought this looked really, really neat, so I'm gonna try it out. Let me see what the price is. Okay, so this one was $10. So I'm gonna shake it up really good. And you can see like all the gold particles in there. Just getting ready to make your face look beautiful. It reminds me of the MAC. Let's give it a go. spray is really really good I like this spray it's like a fine mist but it gets on there enough that you feel like you're actually getting something on your face but so far it's like super nice that lip balm feels super good yeah it definitely gives you like a nice little sheen I love it this drugstore stuff is like really good. I'm really impressed with this. So let's see how my skin reacts to it. You get 3.4 fluid ounces, so that's a, de a decent amount. And I needed like, what do you use, like six sprays or something? That's not bad, it'll last pretty long. All right, so let me let my hair down and we can see all of this in its full glory, not like this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I brushed out my hair and my failed edges attempt and just gonna let it like this. Um, but this is what the makeup looks like in like the nice light. It is so good. Like, I'm so shocked that this is drugstore makeup. Um, I'm usually always, like, I always insist on getting, um, like, my, all my makeup from Sephora, like, higher-end brands, but let me tell you, this might just change my mind a little bit on some stuff. Like, some stuff I have holy grails of, but, yeah, I really like it. And if anyone's interested in this shirt, it, I got it at Fashion Nova. Um, so let's review what I used and what I think is worth it. What I think is worth it for sure, I like this Burt's Bees. I think that it was really moisturizing and it really did pump my lips and make them feel super moisturized. I loved this Age Blurring Primer. This primer worked very well with a bunch of different brands. I used different brands in everything and it was like, it worked really good. Um, this one, I'm still going to see how my skin looks in about eight hours to decide for sure. So I'm just going to wait up on that. Of course, I'm going to be doing the uh, wear test so you guys will see more. The CoverGirl Outlast, loved. This is probably one of my favorite things we've used. Uh, definitely worth the money. It covered everything like really good. Like You can barely see that. Like, it just really covered everything, and I did not sleep well, so I look like I definitely slept well. Thank you. Um, the Essence, another one that I thought was absolutely holy grail and amazing. Um, the Sweet Cheeks was good. It was kind of like, it wasn't like outstanding where it's something I've never had before, but it's definitely good, and for the price, I mean, it works. So, I mean, it's, it's a good color, too. This stuff, amazing. I got Benefit Vibes from this. It definitely did the whole brow lamination looking thing. So, I'm really happy about that. 
I really like these eye pigments. Um, I think they did a really good job and like you can use them here and I was even thinking of doing some highlighter but my skin was already getting glowy enough so I really didn't need that. This was very good but I got it in a darker, too darker color. Now I might take this to Cancun with me and honestly this would probably match me within like a day of being there or less but I would probably get this in a lighter color if you're more of my skin tone um, because this is definitely a little bit too dark and yellow. <clears throat> Volumize, definitely like this one. Um, our Scandalized Retro Glam from Rimmel, very good. Um, the Essence Volume Booster, I didn't like the bristles of the mascara wand, but I do like that it did really um, enhance my lashes, and I did feel that my lashes feel, felt more nourished and like moisturized. So uh, I would say this is definitely a yes. Plus, it has. Uh, really good ingredients to help with your lashes and um, really like moisturize and prime and condition them while you're wearing your mascara and or your false lashes. Uh, this one, one of my favorites, uh, um, eyebrows, like your eyebrows look so natural afterwards and really carved out, like really, really good. So definitely a holy grail here. I would probably be purchasing more of these. Um, the eye primer, it was, I mean, eye primer, it was nothing like super special, but I feel like it did create a good canvas for me to be able to blend the eyeshadows but keep them on. It was a little tacky at first, but it definitely dried down a bit and more like a powder then. So it wasn't anything I haven't had before, let's put it that way. Uh, let's see what else. This I hated. Um, this is still swatch from it on my skin. It's just like streaky. Ugh. No, not a fan. Um, not a fan. I, I hated it, so will not be repurchasing anymore. Um, I liked all of these NYX lipsticks, the plumping ones. They feel really good. Like, my lips feel super comfortable, and the price is really good. Eight bucks each, like, not bad at all. Um, the color, they have a lot more colors too. I just grabbed these three because these three seem to be like the most popular colors a lot of females or males wear during the summer. So, um, yeah, I got them and I like them. This, I'm sure, is great. Uh, do not get the pale, palest pink because it means neon pink, and that's not what I said I wanted. So, um, just make sure you get. A different color maybe if you want something more natural honestly I hated this magnetic liquid liner it just keeps not wanting to cooperate especially with this side here the lashes are very nice I like the shape of them I like what they did I just feel like the magnetic liner needs to be better it's just not holding on to some of the portions that I need it here. It feels absolutely amazing on my skin so far. We'll see how it goes, so I can't really say too much for sure. But um, it feels amazing on my skin. I like the little luminous glow it gave, even though I usually don't need help with that, but I feel like my skin is matte enough that it won't um, like be too oily. But we shall see. I will find out. But seriously guys, my lashes feel so good right now. Like my natural ones. And this. Like, this is really good. And I usually get the lash food stuff. The lash food stuff um, is normally in like the 30s, 40s, or 50s. And I think this one was like five bucks or something, six bucks. I think that's all the stuff that I did for you guys. And the headbands were cute too. But I don't like to have a nylon because they really slide through your hair. So, um,. I mean, they're nice just to like be able to do your makeup and stuff, but um, I wish they were more like of a cotton material, but if they were, they would have been more expensive. So I think these are only like three bucks for a pack of three, and you get three different colors that I got for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be coming back with the final results of everything, and you'll get to see the final test. Um, on how everything looks at the end, but so far I'm very, very impressed. I really, really liked 
most of the things that I got and they were all new releases really good prices so um, stay tuned and I will show you what this looks like in about eight hours hey guys okay so this is like four hours later um, and it's still going strong looking good um, I took the lashes off because uh, they just didn't want to stay on I don't know why um, I put a lot of the magnetic liner on as you can see but they just didn't want to stay on so um, I don't recommend them there's a lot better ones I usually use the Glamnetics ones uh, and they are wonderful those not a big fan but um, other than that not looking too bad not looking too oily and like the lip balm literally this is after me eating and i even reapplied some more of that retinol lip balm that i had tried on um initially this is after me reapplying some and it's still like this so it stays like really good so yeah i'm really impressed so i will check in in another four hours and then that will be the end of our running our test of eight hours so um so far really really impressed with it looking good okay guys it is officially eight hours later and as you can see it still looks really really good like the shine did come out in my face which i figured it would especially because i was putting a lot of um, like hydrating hyaluronic acid um, serum foundation and of course like the hyaluronic acid spray so it's a lot of moisturizing but yeah it really um, everything held up there was no like bleeding too much um, as far as like the uh, mascara or the eyeshadow it didn't have any fallout um, this is still the same lip balm from way before um so it's just like the stuff is like really good um i'm really really impressed so i hope this helped everybody i hope that this helped you uh, make some your, some of your decisions on some new drugstore products i highly recommend everything that i've already said that i recommend my skin feels amazing and um i think it looks amazing too just a bit oily all i need is like a touch up or just like to blot it a bit but i wanted to show you guys the exact how it would actually look um i didn't want to blot it or anything i just wanted you guys to see what it looks like so this is it and i hope you guys really enjoyed um watching me and please like comment and subscribe hit the notifications bell um there was going to be more of these to come Thank you and bye-bye.